Yo, what is going on, my dude and dudettes, my man and mine? Hey, yo, guys, what's going on? My name is Belligerent Fool, aka Luca Lish. So, today I'm going to be showing you guys my live stream setup where I stream live on Mixer. Um, so, let's just go ahead and get into that with details on. Okay, details on equipment that I use, I'll leave links in the description below of a majority of things I have, maybe not all of them, but let's just go ahead and get into it and see what we got. Okay, for, for starters, um, let's go ahead and just turn the lights off, I'll show you what this bad boy setup looks like with the lights off. It's not that amazing, got a couple RGB lights which are from Walmart, they're about like $5.99. I got one set on the desk here and then I also, behind me, that goes in the stream, that's part of the background, I have it on this setup right here, right around this TV, because this filing cabinet blocks off about this much which is the LED rope light is only right there so you know that kind of makes the stream and then of course I got the little blue lights over here with the little, my little bears don't ask about the bears so I had these spotlights that I ordered probably about four four years ago off of Amazon um, I was I'm not sure what I was using them for at the time. I think it was just to illuminate my room more. Um, but I've taken these. I'm gonna show you just this. And what I did was to filter the light a little bit more. I put about three pieces of paper inside of this, and I point this directly at the wall in order to shed some light, reflect off the wall onto my face in the stream, and then I started using this bulb um, just recently. And that helps also with illuminating the other side of my face so I'm not getting any hard, hard, um, hard shadows. I'm not really sure what they're called at the moment. I can definitely make another video about lighting. If you guys are interested, comment below. Please let me know. I will let you know about like setting up your background, making it aesthetic, making it like visually pleasing to the eye. If that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. I would love to make a video for you. Let's start with this guy right here. We have our Amazon Home All gaming chair. This bad boy runs just out at about $100. And I gotta say, overall, for my first gaming chair, it's not bad. It's much more comfortable than what we used to have. We also have here a newer mic, and that is N E E W E R mic. You can find it on Amazon. Link below for both the chair, and I will have a link below for this mic. It, I'm gonna tell you right now. It's not that great. Um, it's definitely a good starter mic for only at $35. It's an amazing starter mic. It comes with the scissor. It comes with the mic. It comes with a pop filter. It even comes with a, um, a one of these filters that go over it. But um, I stopped using the pop filter because it doesn't have a lot of gain. So you have to turn all the gain all the way up in the channel. And then you start, and if you're wearing headphones, you can hear the, uh, just the background noise. Uh, it's annoying, but the quality, talking really clo close to it, it's not bad. It sounds pretty decent. 
So I'll link that below. You'll see also if you watch my streams. So as I was saying, this is the mic. Um, it comes with the scissor. It does rotate fully. It clamps onto the desk and extends. You gotta be careful with it. For only $35, you have to be careful. There's the mic. There's the webcam. This is the Logitech. <laughs> Logitech? So the C922 Pro HD Stream webcam it does run at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Overall, the Logitech webcam is definitely an amazing choice to go with. It's about $100 at Best Buy. Again, I'll have a link below. So that's the Logitech, and then below here we have this miniature tripod that I decided that I wanted to go out and get. Again, this has more to do with the aesthetics of a stream, and you know, again, if you guys want to see that link, if you guys want to see that video, let me know. We have our HP laptop here, which is what I typically use to I have my stream up on here, and I will plug in my headphones, and I go ahead and put them in one ear. And I listen to my stream through that since I now have the uh, sound notification commands. So if someone's hosting me and I gotta hear a little John singing a song, well then I know someone's hosting me. That way I can, if I'm not paying attention to the stream, I can dance along with you guys. Here we have just some old funky Dell computer. I mean, this screen is old. We got, like, there's dents and scratches in it. As you can see, I'm, right, I'm watching one of my boys right now. Um, so it's a. It doesn't matter what your secondary is used for. This secondary screen is typically used for having Streamlabs OBS open here, and then I will also have like YouTube when I'm playing music on the stream. So that's kind of what this is for, and then all like my bot, the Mix It Up bot, I have all over here. Moving over here, this is my new monitor I just got for gaming. I've been gaming on a this TV, matter of fact, for forever. So I went out and I got myself a 24-inch Asus VG248 gaming monitor. So this is what I now play the game on. And of course, moving down... Down here we have uh, just the PC I purchased off of the LEGO app, which was for me $400. It came with everything needed in order to game online. Unfortunately I had to take the GPU out, the motherboard doesn't allow me to have an Elgato in as well as the GPU, so I can't currently game with it, but I can stream directly off my Xbox console, and that for me is good enough for now, but we're going to fix it. So as stated, I do have an HD 60, I have an Elgato, I have an Elgato HD, HD 60 Pro, yes, Elgato HD 60 Pro. So this is pretty much my whole setup. Um, if we wanted to get into it, a majority of everything I use, uh, or recently bought, <laughs> is over here, and I kind of made like a little wall out of it. So we have the Xbox One X, of course, this is what I was using for filming YouTube videos on my phone, but I found it useful for external mic while streaming a light stream. I will leave a leave a link down below for this as well. This is on Amazon. It's fairly, fairly, fairly affordable. It's like thirty dollars. The HD sixty Pro. I don't really think I need to leave a link for that, but if I do, I mean. I don't think I do. You just go to Best Buy, you get one of these. And of course, the Corsair M65 RGB Elite mouse. Also, games uh, Best Buy. So, Best Buy, Best Buy, Best Buy. I'm sure you can get an Xbox One at Best Buy. The Asus gaming monitor that is also Best Buy. The C, that is the current camera we are filming off of is the Canon SK530HS, but we don't care about that right now, we're talking about streaming. 
the C922 Pro HD stream webcam from Logitech, that is what we're using for streaming. That's also Best Buy. Yeah, we don't care. That's how I charge my stuff. And then, of course, the I have a 5-port Ethernet switch. I also got a... Aside from an Ethernet switch, I do also have a... Well, let's go look at the setup, yeah? So right down here, I have an Ethernet switch, and this allows me to hardwire my Xbox directly. My Xbox is under here. My Xbox is down here, right on top of these milk crates. The Xbox is hardwired, of course. The HP, the HP, the PC is hardwired. And sometimes I will hardwire my laptop to get a better connection. The Wi-Fi is not so great in my room. And that, thus leaving us with our Ethernet switch, which is a way to get multiple cables in one use. If that's what you're looking forward to and then of course down here this is very helpful I got this on Amazon too down in here you might not be able to see it I have an HDMI switch and that allows me to not only project my Xbox on my monitor but it allows me to project my Xbox on my TV which is right here next to my bed which is next to my streaming setup Okay, I would also like to mention real quick, when I am gaming here, just to clear up some area, I do have my turtle beaches here hanging from just a piece of copper wiring. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you guys like my setup, maybe inspired you a little bit. I uh, definitely have a long way to go with evolution of setups. Like I said, everything is linked down below. Most of it. Don't quote me. Who knows? If you guys have any questions, any questions whatsoever, please comment down below. I will get back to you, and I will help as much as I can. I do have some upcoming videos. I'm doing a series on stream, starting streaming. So if you guys want more helpful tips and tricks with streaming, or if you guys are just interested in what I'm doing, let me know down below. Hit that like button if you guys like the video. But everything is rolling credits right now as I'm speaking. So go follow them. What are you waiting for? Ah, you guys are awesome. Give me a, give me a hug.